16.2d quadratic formula missing terms if we have a missing a term missing from our um, quadratic we want to use zero in the quadratic formula let's see how that works so in our first example here I notice that I have an A and I have my C what I'm missing is my B, so we want to ha use B equal to 0. So when I throw this in my quadratic formula, my x equals our B, which is 0, plus or minus the square root of our B squared, which is 0, minus 4 times our A times our C, all over 2 times our a. So we're going to get x equal to plus or minus the square root of a negative 4 times our 3 times our 54 giving us 600, a negative 648 all over 6. So let's see about simplifying our 648. So we have x equal to plus or minus the square root of, let's see. Okay, so 648 is, when we do some factoring here, basically comes down to it's 4 times 9 times 9 times 2. Okay and we still have that negative, so, oops, I should have done this. That means we're going to have 2 and a 9 come out, which is going to give us 18. We have the negative, which is going to give us i, and then we're going to have the 2 still inside, all over 6. 18 and 6 have a common factor of 6, so we're going to get x equal to plus or minus 3i square root 2. Alright, let's look at our second example. Well, we need to get everything on one side. So we have 5x squared minus 2x equal to 0. So this is our a, we have b, and then c is going to be equal to 0 because there is none. So now we get x equal to the opposite of our b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times our a times our c all over 2 times our a. So what we get then is x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 4, because this last part all disappears, all over 10. So we have x equal to 2 plus or minus 2 all over 10. So 2 minus 2 is 0, so we're going to get x is equal to 0 for 1 and then 2 plus 2 is 4 and that 4 over 10 is going to give us 2 fifths and we're done.